Hello, everyone, and welcome to the show. I'm your host, Luca. And um, before we start the show, I just want to share some good news with you guys today. Um, Damar Hamlin is breathing. Um, the young safety from the Bills is breathing on his own without the assistance of a tube. Um, he's making, um, he's showing shine, showing, showing signs of good recovery. And I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, and I'm, I'm thankful that he's doing well. And again, prayers and our thoughts are with him and his family. And I hope he makes a full recovery. Um, so anyway, guys, in this video, we're going to talk about the NFL canceling the Bills and the Bengals game and what kind of ramifications does it have on the NFL and on the playoff that's coming up. And then secondly, I'm going to talk about the I'm going to give you guys my picks um, for the uh, the games tomorrow um, that has major, major playoff um, ramifications. And that's the game between the uh, the the Chiefs versus the Raiders, and then also um, the night game, which has the AFC South Championship on the line between the Jaguars and the Tennessee Titans. Winner, winner, the winner will win the um, AFC um, South uh, division. So anyway, those two games are going to be fantastic. Um, I might stream tomorrow. I'm not sure yet. Um, I can look at what my schedule is. I might stream one of those games. I might stream live. But anyway, I'll let you guys know if I do or if I do not. Um, I'll put um, uh, a message on YouTube letting you guys know what my plans are for tomorrow. But anyway, um, like I said in the beginning of the video, the NFL did decide finally to cancel the game. I mean, for a while, they didn't know what to do. It was just postponed. But um, yesterday, the league came out with a statement saying that they are canceling the uh, the uh, the Bengals and the Bills game that was played on Monday night. Um, and the reason why they're saying that it's best to cancel it is that um, it doesn't have any playoff um, clinching scenarios, meaning that the bank the Bengals and the Bills have already clinched the playoffs, so there's no need to play that game. And then, um, secondly, and I think most more importantly, logistically, it would be impossible to push that game one week out because it would affect the playoff. Um, and I think that's just too much for everyone to handle. So the best they think is just to cancel the game outright, meaning that the Bengals and the Bills will each only play 16 games while all other NFL teams would have played 17. Uh, this thing never happened before. Well, actually it did happen. It happened one time before, and I think that was in 1935, 1936. And so it doesn't happen often. So yeah, it, we're, we're in a unique uh, uh, landscape when it, in the NFL especially being this late in the year. So anyway, so that's the decision. That's the concrete decision. The game has been canceled. Now, they did give a couple proposal in trying to um, have scenarios where um, they're trying to, I guess, level the playing field when it comes to the playoffs, um, being that the Bengals only played 16 while all the other teams played... Bengals and the Bills only played 17 while all the other teams played 17. I mean... Excuse me. The Bengals and the Bills played 16 while all the other teams have played 17. Um, they're going to try to remedy that. And they have a proposal here. Um, I'm looking at it. Um, I'm looking at it. It's, a, it's on Twitter, um, NFL Twitter. I'll give you guys the link for it. And it's a proposal that I guess the owners are going to vote on it today. And if it's adopted, this would be it. But um, the proposal would be that... Uh, the scenarios would be that if the the Kansas City Chiefs and the Buffalo Bills, if they both win, tie, or both lose, then a Buffalo versus Kansas City championship game would be in a neutral site. That way to make it fair for both teams. And then the third scenario that if, um, if Buffalo and Kansas City both lose and then Cincinnati wins, then Cincinnati would have an opportunity to um to uh, play uh, Kansas City in a neutral site, so I guess those are just the scenarios. And then one more thing here: it has the uh, if Baltimore defeats Cincinnati in Week 18, um, then if they're playing against Cincinnati in the divisional round, then Cincinnati, then Buffalo, I mean, then Baltimore would. Flip. They would flip a coin between them two and see who would have field, home field advantage for that game. And I guess the reason why is because even though that Cincinnati has clinched the um, the AFC North, Baltimore would have beaten them twice, 
And then Baltimore's reasoning would have been, hey, you know, if Cincinnati played the Bills and lost and we and we just beat them, then we would have that AFC North. So I guess what the league is saying that the best thing to do then is just to flip a coin between Baltimore and Cincinnati if Baltimore wins. That is, if Baltimore wins, flip a coin. And if they're playing each other in the divisional round or in the wildcard round, I mean, then um, they would flip a coin trying to see who would have home field advantage. But anyway, I guess those are just the, I guess the scenarios that the NFL um, is thinking about doing. Um, again, they'll vote for it here this afternoon. Um, and again, the majority of the owners, 24 teams, have to dis- have to agree to it um, in order to for it to move forward. Now, if it doesn't move forward, there's also there's already a rule in the um, NFL regarding canceled games, and the rule is. It doesn't matter. If your game is canceled, then that's it. You know, we just go by your win percentage. But I think the reason why the NFL is doing this, um, trying to bring this uh, proposal up, is because the game was canceled in such an, I mean, such an, a tragic way. I mean, the reason why it was canceled, it was nobody's fault. A young man almost lost his life in the field, and that's the reason why the game was canceled. So I think the NFL is trying to... Um, so what I'm looking for, trying to just kind of try to make up for it, um, even though it was nobody's fault, and try to make it somewhat fair. But if the owners don't agree to this scenario, then I think they would just go on with the rule, which means that, you know, you, you know, it's ca- the game is canceled and we'll just go by your winning win percentage um, that the playoff seating will be determined that way. So I don't know, man. Um, as soon as the NFL decides or as soon as the owners decide what to do, I'm going to go ahead and release a video. But until then, as of now, I have no clue what's going on. So um, keep I'll keep you guys posted. And as soon as I hear something or read about something and see what the decision is, of the, what the NFL made, then I'll definitely go ahead and um, release a video. Now on to tomorrow's game. Man, it's, it's going to be exciting. I mean... It, it rarely does it happen, and I've said this many times in my other videos, rarely does it happen where almost every single team that's in the playoff that has a playoff chance this weekend, this weekend means something. The last week of the NFL, usually teams are resting their players. Usually the playoff seedings have been determined. Usually everybody's making preparations for the Wild Cup, for the games. who They already know who they're playing, but I don't think anybody knows who they're playing right now. Nobody knows who they're playing and it's week 18 the last week of the of the NFL season. And so tomorrow's game is it has that it has playoff ramifications. We have the Chiefs versus the Raiders. Now, all the Chiefs have to do is just win. They'll win and they will be locked in the number 1 seed and they'll be locked in the first round bye. So, it's a big big game for the um for the Kansas City Chiefs. As for the Raiders, they already have been eliminated. Um, Derek Carr has been benched, and I, I don't know who they're starting. I think they're starting Stidham. Um, so it's gonna be it's gonna be it's gonna be an, uh, an exciting game. I'm gonna look for I'm gonna look to it and see um, what the Chiefs do um, if they clean their defense up because their defense haven't been looking great lately. I'm trying to clean them some things up as they gear up for a Super Bowl run. And um, I think tomorrow Mahomes is going to play very well. Um, I got the Chiefs winning out handedly. I think they win very I win they win. I think they win by 13 points. So I got the Chiefs winning and I got Mahomes locking up that MVP. I mean, it's already locked up a lot of what I call it. A lot of uh, betting sites have him at minus 1200. So basically it's if you want free money, I guess, and you have a lot of money, because you're not gonna make, if you, if you put $100 in, you ain't making much. But if you have a lot of money, you make, you don't make free money. I would, I would, you know, well, you know what? I'm not gonna advise you. You do what you want with your money. But anyway, personally for me, I would put my money on Mahomes winning the MVP, because I see him having a huge game tomorrow. Uh, two touch, three touchdowns at least, 400, 400 yards passing. I think they, I think they win handedly. And then we have the, and then we have the um, the night game between the Jaguars and the Titans. And the Jaguars have surprised me this year, man. I mean, they started off 
garbage. They started off trash, but they made a run at the end of the year. Doug Peterson is doing great, great for that young man, Trevor Lawrence. I mean, he is improving. He improved from year one to year two. His improvements are light and day. And I think he's going to be a star here in the in the NFL. So anyway, tomorrow, the Jaguars versus the Titans will play each other for that AFC South division title. It's going to be a slugfest. It's going to be amazing. I can't wait for it. I mean, I'm, I have my popcorn ready. I'm, I'm going to have my drinks ready. I'm going to sit back and just enjoy it, man. Um, it doesn't get any better than that. You know, you win and you're in. I mean, that's the that's the best that's the best scenario. Um, what do you call it in um in, in 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 any sport? You know, that's why I love March Madness so much. That's why I love the NBA Finals. Last game seven. It's like this is it. You come in. You win and you're in. You lose, you go home. Um, and these and these guys are gonna go out there and give it their best. So I'm excited for it. Um, I can't wait. But anyway, guys, that's my video for today. Um, I'm gonna release a video probably tomorrow, giving you guys my picks for the Sunday games. Um, I'm gonna be pretty detailed, give you guys my point spreads and everything. But anyway, guys. Um, so let's see what the NFL does with this uh, conundrum. See if they um, figure a way out. Try to. Um, even at the playing field a little bit for the Bengals and the Bills because I mean at the end of the day it wasn't their fault It was nobody's fault. So we'll see how they'll remedy it. But anyway guys. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for uh, Supporting me. Um, please subscribe Share the video like the video and um, I'm gonna keep checking them out man I'm, I'm doing three four five videos a week man. You know, I'm just that's is it. I'm I'm putting my grind in and I'm gonna keep going. So anyway, guys, love you guys. Thank you guys, and I'll see you guys tomorrow, or see you guys later, or whatever.